Good morning in Boston. Good evening in Mashiko. Welcome to everyone. What a joy and delight to be together with you and have an opportunity to share the work of Yoshinori Hagiwara. It has been a wonderful journey for us to share his art over these many years. I remember vividly him presenting himself first as a craftsperson, and then along the way, someone said, well, you're an artist. And he said, okay, I'll go with that. The lack of pretense on his part has made it even more wonderful to work together with him. Mugi, can you begin the translation? Then I'll introduce everyone else. え、so let me thank you, Mugi, first and foremost, for always being part of these experiences and enabling us to share many points of view and make them clear to the people who are listening. I'm thrilled that Andrew, um, now at Wayne State, is able to join us today. Andrew Maskey has been part and parcel of our journey into ceramics from Asia for the most part, but also from the United States, both as a teacher and a friend, as a colleague. So Andrew, welcome and thank you so, so much for your ongoing presence in our world. My pleasure. And Caroline, um, you're new as a participant, but certainly not new to these webinars. I'm grateful to you for all the help that you've given us up until now. And we've added one more layer of responsibility to your position, asking you as a, <coughs> pardon me, as an MA in ceramics to participate in this conversation today. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
、吉典さん、あの萩原様のしょ紹介を、まあ、ち,ょちょっとさせていただくのと、はい、それであとは作品と写真で、あ,のあとはお話になって、皆様と一緒にあの共有させていただくということですね。はい、so welcome and thrilled to have you at least virtually with us. Maybe in two years we'll be together physically、uh, in Boston in order to celebrate your art and be together with your amazing family. まあ、とりあえず今はあの、まあ、ようこそいらっしゃいましたというのは仮想バ,バーチャルな場ですけれどもあの、まあ、何年か後には皆様ここにフィあの物理的にいらしてで、まあ、ご家族にもお会いすることができればいいなというふうに思っております。はい、so let us begin by looking first at the cover of just three plates, all wonderfully and playfully decorated. And then to move into the spaces in which he works. Andrew, do you want to just talk briefly about these three pieces as an introduction? Sure.、Um, and, and I'd also <laughs> like to say、um, it's always wonderful to join uh, these uh, online conversations with the Pucker Gallery、um, and the wonderful artists that they、um, represent and feature. Um, in particular,、uh, Hagi Wada san it,、uh, is really quite remarkable in that, by virtue of living in the town of Mashiko,、um, he operates in the shadow of the great、uh, Shoji Hamada,、um, who, of course, was among the first、uh, living national treasures of Japan.、Um, and yet, Despite those huge footprints that he、uh, trods in some way every day,、uh, he's managed to make work that, while remaining in the Minge tradition that Hamada established, is completely his own,、um, is、um, entirely original. And has a sensibility that is really, really appealing to,、um, to those who appreciate a high standard of ceramic art and also people who are not as familiar with,、um, with ceramic works.、Uh, at the same time, they, they remain functional in that Minge tradition. I know Bernie has a set of dinnerware. By Hagiwara that he, Hagiwara san, that he loves to use. Um, and um, it's, it's just remarkable、uh, to see how Hagiwara san's work continues to progress and change、um, in ways that we'll see during today's、uh, webinar. Sorry for so much, m o o g i あの萩原さんのまずあの非常に作品なんですけども非常に素晴らしいというのをまずあの萩原さんは益子にいらして益子というのは浜田庄司なの非常に有名な陶芸家がずっといらっしゃったところにその,なんでその影響下にずっと影響下がまだ色濃く残る益子にずっとお住みになっていてそこでその民芸の伝統を踏まえつつ、えー、萩原さん独自のオリジナリティをお出しになってそれでそのこの美しさというのはあの非常に水準が高いのでその陶芸をずっと陶芸に関心のある陶芸をずっと好んでいらっしゃる方だけでなくその陶芸のことをあまりよく知らない方にもなんか非常にあの魅力的に映る。それでそれれではありあのただ美しいというだけではなく民芸の伝統としてその使用する、えー、陶芸をお作りになっていらっしゃる例えばあのパッカーさんはあの萩原さんがお作りになったお皿のセットをお持ちなんですけれどもそういうふうに現実に使用できるものをお作りになっていらっしゃるそして萩原さんは常にその進歩して変化していくとでそのどのような進歩どのような変化をあの萩原さんはそれを実行なさっているのかというのをこの,あのウェビナーでちょっと皆様にご紹介したいと思います。Caroline, can we go to the next slide? 
Absolutely. And then ask you to talk a little bit about uh, the place which he works in and your response as a uh, practitioner of clay. Absolutely. So here we see Yoshinori throwing off the, on the left-hand side, he's throwing off the hump on the wheel. So what you're seeing is a giant lump of clay on the wheel and he's throwing smaller portions. He's throwing a bowl after bowl and you can see that to his right. Um, what's, this is something that I've never been great at throwing off the hump, but as a production potter, making things for everyday use that people are going to have in their home, you want to make as many as you can in your session. One thing I'd like to point out, this is a very Eastern way of throwing. I, you can see in the right-hand photo, his pillow where he sits. So he's sitting cross-legged. That's something I, I can't do. I, um, in a Western sense, you're gonna have, you're gonna be kind of straddling the wheel and have a little bit more um, be around that wheel head while here he's sitting cross-legged and throwing. And that's something that you'll see mostly in Japan. And it's, it's quite impressive to throw off the hump too without having cracking and all sorts of studio issues. But it's kind of my first response to this. You can see also all his wear boards on the right just stacked up. Sorry, Mugi. Um, and oh. so he's he'll be filling up all those with pieces of pottery that are gonna then be drying for him to later fire. Oh. えっと、あの、ま、このお説明なんですけど、左のがあの右側ですかね、写真なんですが、あの、大きな粘土の塊をボーンとあの、ろくろの上に置いて、それで小さな、あの、ピースをどんどんどんどん作っていかれるっていう
to turn the wheel and then you pull out the stick and put it down and then you throw. So you don't have the wheel actually being powered. It's just the residual power of the big wheel that you use to throw. And that's a technique that, um, that Hamada used. And I think there's video on, uh, online of him using his hand wheel if people are interested to see how that actually works. And as Hagiwara-san said, he also has that and has and uses that type of wheel as well as the electric one that we see here. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
これ益子で3機しかなくてもう現存するの1個しかないあのちょっとマニアックな釜なんですけど。あ So it's very sort of like a specific, very,、mm-hmm. he said, maniac, kind of like very niche、um, <laughs> eh, kiln. The, ma, a to keko maki mo kate, toyu to maki o heyo ste yak kama nan desu. Unnaji, ikkai no toki ni, toyu mo demo yaru si, maki demo yaru. Kangen o kake, a to hi o kake ru toki wa, kangen no kake ru toki wa, maki de hita sura yarimasu. Ah, so, eh, this. This kiln can be used with kerosene and or、um, wood, like a, a firing wood at the、mm-hmm. same time. So he uses it when you do the de oxidation of the, the re- pieces, reduction reduction、oh. of the pieces.、Uh, he uses a lot of piece,、uh, wood pieces. Yeah, he'll change over to wood to get, to get the reduction, which means. Um, the fire、um, is, he'll close it up, he'll put in the wood and then he'll close it up so that there's not enough oxygen. The fire will draw out the oxides in the,、um, uh, in the glazes and in the clay. And the, the fire search for oxygen and that will influence the colors that the pieces will fire to. <sighs> 炭化じゃなくて、あの違うあの普通にあの焼いてる最中に950度ぐらいから薪を入れて、炎をかけるんですかね炎の中で焼くために。ああ、そう。え、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、そう。で、He had lots of fire, the frame, the fire itself, and then that how they、uh, like to burn the fire, the, the pieces with the 950. Do you have a good idea? Yeah, that's a good idea. 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 Um, well, and, uh, and, oh, sorry, Andrew. Oh, I was just going to say, and Hagiwara san was a, before he started making ceramics, if I recall, he was a, fi- he, he specialized in firing kilns. Is that correct? Togi has made a micro, Kama Yakiwa Yatra Shata, and this unit. So, yes, that's, that's correct. <laughs> so, so that's his. <laughs> That's his specialty. Yeah. Yeah, he started like when he was like 14 or something.、Mm, 14, wow. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead. I'll point out really quick because for those who haven't seen a reduction firing, especially with wood, that is what in this picture it demonstrates it well. It's actually a fit, really clean kiln since I guess it's been somewhat recently rebuilt, but all this black reduction here, that's just when the flame and smoke is just. Tight inside that kiln because you're pushing out all the oxygen and it's just, it looks like it's about to burst. It's always exciting, but that's where the flames are coming out and seeping、mm. from the kiln. But I'll go ahead and move so we can get to the work. This is probably the most interesting kiln. This is his Nabori Gama or climbing kiln. You can, it's a little bit hard to see because it's such a large thing. But here on the right, where my、uh, little mouse is, this is the entryways. And it, you can see how high up this hill it goes. You got the little I believe a little offering to the kiln gods here, but I'll let I, if Mugi, you can just ask Yoshinori to maybe comment on, on this kiln and then we can move on to the work. Okay. So, this is the first time I'm going to show you how to do this. This is the first time I'm going to show you how to do this. 
これ60年ぐらい経ってますかね。あはい、で多分これうちのおじいさんが作った釜で、はい、益子では6部屋あるんですけど中でどのぐらいですかね2軒だから、まあ、3メーターぐらいですかね幅で。幅,幅がじゃあなかった、はい長さは十四五メーターですかね。ああ、そう、です、ね。アランシクスティーエーズオール、あ、クライミングキューン、ヒズ、グランファーザー、ビルト、and has six chambers、and maybe three meters wide、um,、and fifteen、fourteen、fifteen meters long。How many days does it take him to fire it? えっと。どれぐらいあの全部の六部屋をあの役にはどれぐらい時間がかかるんですかね？何時間は全部三日三晩三昼夜ですかね。three days three nights。sounds about right。and I can、um, go ahead and move on because we're losing a little bit of time but here you can see some of the wood that's going to be used for the firing it takes、oh. takes quite a lot to fire it for three days but you can see quite a large stack there。Uh, here's a good picture of his of his daughter is next to the kiln. Kind of give you a little bit of sense of scale. Oh, お嬢様方のあれですね。そうですね。これちょうどあの震災後間もなくちょっと傷んだ釜を直してた時に多分娘ら遊んで。Uh, this is the picture that right after the earthquake, a、uh, big earthquake in the tsunami,、um, he was trying to fix some of the broken parts,、uh, damaged parts of this clam climbing kiln. And the, the, his daughters are like playing around it <laughs> with, the, with the clay, with the repairing clay, right? Right. <laughs> 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 They're just yeah, like making like odang, like making like rice balls kind of thing, <laughs> but with the, with the clay, clay, with the mud. Oh, great. We'll go ahead. I think the next photo is another good. Oh, here. Okay, here's. We'll go ahead and start and talk about about this piece. Andrew, if you want to start, and then we can we can go from there. Um. Yeah. So this is one of um, um, Hagiwara Sun's um, um, pieces that goes back uh, uh, a few years. Um, more of his traditional style, but. He has such a remarkable、um, technical ability to make things very fine and precise, but yet with a, with a warmth that comes with hand execution. So it's, it's precise, but it's precise in a human way rather than precise in a mechanical or machine produced way. It's really quite remarkable to see his pieces in. In person and to hold them because they're they're quite thin, but yet they're done.、Um, this one would have been done using a mold,、um, probably a drape mold, I would assume. But it's it just has those those slight imperfections、um, that are that are just that just give it a warmth.、Um, and you see that in the、uh, hand decoration as well.、Um, and、um, Yeah, I just, I just love.、Uh, I have a piece,、uh, a couple of pieces of this style myself that I, that I really love to use. あのまあこれ非常に伝統的なあのまあ要、えー、伝統的な感じなんですけれども、あの萩原さんのその技術が非常に高いので、その正確なんですが、その正確さの中に非常に人間的な温かさが見られる。でこの正確さはその機械的な正確さというよりも人間的な正確さで、あのこれ持ってみると分かるんですけれども、あの多分、えー、とこれ、型を使ってらっしゃるかと思うんですが、そのちょっとだけそう完璧なの、完璧なあの型をというわけではないので、そこにやっぱり人間味のある、温かみのある作品が、えー、とできているということで、えー、教授もこの手のえっとお皿を何枚かご自分で持ってらしていつもお使いになっているということです。It was great. I want to. Oh yeah. Um, you know, Andrew mentioned the 
hand versus machine, that really goes back to the original concept for the exhibition and really the Minge movement that the beauty of use, that you're using an item that's been made by someone else and that beauty between the craftsman and then the user and how that continues through someone's life, how you use this piece and you can see endless changes that are more natural and organic, even though this is quite a rigid, you know, square pattern with the flowers on here. It's it's that dynamic that that really is important about getting the work of art through ceramics into someone's daily life, as opposed to maybe a painting on the wall. Um, I'd also like to point out in here, the yellow is something that uh, those little yellow stripes are actually forming tiny, tiny crystals in the surface. Um, crystals can grow into the glaze surface. And when the light hits these, that contrast from that black glaze he uses, it just lights up the, the whole room where his work is shown, um, where his work is shown usually not in our main gallery space, but it's, it's just really something. It's really beautiful works. And I think, let's see, let's go on to the next one. This one I, I love because it, it starts to have this galaxy effect. Again, all these tiny little dots are not just dots, they're tiny crystals in the surface of the glaze. And that's just, just a chemistry thing with what he's using in his glaze and how he's firing it. のあの、このような色になって現れてるので、これ、なん、なんていうんですか、ギャラクシー、なんか宇宙のような感じなんですけども、これ、なん、なんていうんですか、ギャラクシー、なんか宇宙のような感じなんですけども、これ、なん、なん
、太い線と細い線が一緒になっていて、これをなんか、子持ち、親,親子、なんかそういう形のなんか線というふうに、えー、と呼ばれるらしいんですけれども、これは16世紀頃にも現れていて、オリベアキーの特徴でもあり、これはあの布なんかにもこの、あのモチーフが使われているんですけども、その萩原さんはその伝統的なのを自分のを取り入れながら、ご自分のオリジナルを作っていらっしゃるということで、非常にあの面白い作品になっていると思います。OK。Go on.Go on to the next one, sure.Could we have、um, Hagiwara san talk about、um, this? This type of, of jar and kind of how he comes to develop his shapes, like、um, how he decides what he's going to create when he's developing, when he's trying a new shape,、um, how he goes about that process. I know, well, it's more than this, but more you to take a call you, it's a clean and this guy, so Katachi, a t a r a s i to take a cage or Katachi or go Kangai Nan to get do you process it. その新しい形を作ってみようとかそういうふうに思われるんでしょうかあ、まあ、自分の中で初め小さいのでかなり数いろいろ作るんですよ。ああのあのなんか一輪差しみたいなので。はいはいはい、そ,れそれで作って焼いてみてそれを参考にちょっと大きめにしようかなとかって言って。あじゃあ小さいのでいろいろ作られるパンですね。はいはい、so I usually use、uh, make smaller, much smaller pieces of different shapes. And then I、uh, fire them and see how it comes out. And then, then, if I like it, I will enlarge it or based on that shape that I develop a little bit bigger、uh, pieces.、Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot of、um, potters will use sketches, but、um, making small models、um, in, in clay is really interesting、um, to me. Yeah.、Uh, こうやってスケッチでやられる方が多いらしいんですけれども、実際に小さなのを自分でご自分でやってみるっていうのはとても面白いやり方じゃないかと思います。カロライン、do you have a comment on that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think of going back to that beginning of the Bengay tradition with Soji is that he was known to draw in the air. So to, to... Test a pot, he, he would draw in the air. Of course, there were other potters like Bernard Leach, who he worked with with the Menge movement, who would meticulously draw a pot and then then execute it. So it sounds like how you are has kind of been in between to like make the small drawing and then go at the larger pot, which of course, use making a larger pot is quite a commitment. So that's pr pretty wise of him to start smaller. And then, and then think, you know, how would this look in a larger form? I know Bernard Leach さんとか、あの、あの、マシコの、まあ、大会の皆さんは、こう、いろいろ方法があるみたいなんですけど、こう、スケッチをやる方もいるし、こう、実際作ってみられる方もいるんですけれども、その、萩原さんのやり方は、その、まあまあ、小さなのから、ご自分で最初作ってみて、それから大きく、大きな形、にしてみるっていうのは非常に面白いやり方ではないかと思います。You just add briefly that this piece has a sense of both strength and elegance. The way that the glaze essentially becomes fireworks or a waterfall on it adds an element of visual interest, and yet the piece itself has a sense. Of richness and stability. And so as we go through, it's important to sort of watch, I guess it's been 10 years or so, the subtle differences in the forms, the shapes, and the application of the glazes that has made the work continue to grow and become even more、um, wonderful to be with. I don't know. Well, I don't know. 作品見てるとその強さっていうのとその、えー、優美さっていうのがこう一体になっていてそれであの、まあ、ここに見えるような滝のようなこの釉薬の流れとかがあるんですけれどもそれをこう要するにそういう流れとかも全部できた上がったものを見るとその非常な安定性があると。で、まあ、この10年萩原さんのを
のあれを作品を見せていただいてますけれどもやっぱりその形いろんな形そしてまたその釉薬の使い方というのがだんだんだんだんこう開発されていて自分の中で進歩さが見られてそれで非常な素晴らしい作品がどんどんできているというところが素晴らしいと思いますということです。Are there any thoughts he has about the particular piece? なんかこの作品についてなんか特別な思いとかございますかね<笑>ああそうですねあの今回あの柿湯をその灯油窯で焼きたかったんで結構あの薬がけとかもかなり勢いつけて多分これの時ちょうどあの取材かなんかに来てたんですよねなんでそれで結構あの俺も気づかなかったんですけどかなり俺あの薬がけなんか動画で撮られてかなりのスピードの速さで自分かけてるんだなってのが分かってあ、まあ、だからあの、うん、あやっぱり勢いも結構薬がけも大事なのかななんていうのは後でその話をしてたんですけどあこれはかなり強めにこうそうですねあの薬自体も本当に一気にかけましたねああ So、uh, this piece that、uh, I really wanted to try this uh, ka, uh, Persimmon glaze with this、uh, kerosene、uh, kiln. And also, in terms of glaze, I really pour it in, with force, like very strong sort of way of pouring、um, glaze. And then at that point, like, somebody was here to、uh, videotape for the, some interview of the magazine. So, I've seen, I, I looked at myself doing that later on, but I was surprised myself that I used pre, pretty forced, like I forcefully apply、uh, glaze onto the piece and I didn't realize it myself. But it seems like we need, like I need、uh, to think about the force of applying glaze from now on. May the force be with him. <笑>スター・ウォーズにそういうあのフォースとかいうあの言い方があるんですけど。Well, I would love to kind of expand on what Mr. Pucker mentioned in terms of the, the stability of the piece. Now, this form is a little bit more organic. It's been wheel thrown, and I believe he's been taken a paddle and And tap each side. So then the, the profile is actually quite square.、Um, but Yoshinori's work in the gallery, as you can see, there's like a, a lot of brown, rich browns, and blacks.、Um, when it's when I get to tour people through the gallery, and a lot of the times we get to Yoshinori's work and it, it's not loud. You know, we go through very colorful oil paintings and some, some pots that are just exuberant and loud and kind of demand. Attention,、uh, but his pieces are just stable, they're solid, they don't they don't demand anything of you.、Um, they really are inviting in that way to be used. You know, you can put like this pot is not the loudest of pots, but it just asks for you to put a big bouquet of yellow flowers inside. You know, it's and I think that speaks to all his work. It, it really does ask to be in your home and to be used, and it's not. It's not loud, but it, it's elegant in that way. あのこれあの,あのキャロラインさんはあの皆さんをそのツアーとしてあのツアーガイドとしてあの萩原さんの作品をまあ見せることがあるんですけれどもこれは例えばこうこう写真で見たらよくわからないんですけどこう四角い感じなんですよね。<笑>うんそれで萩原さんの作品にはこう非常に深い茶色とか黒とかが多いんですけれどもそのまあ、い一見して派手な色を使ったわけでもなくその形もものすごくなんか木をてらったような形でもなくあの他の例えば陶芸家の方のはなんかその注意を払わなければ人の中その注意とかそういうのをこう要求する感じなんですけれどもあの萩原さんの作品っていうのはまあそこにあってとにかくうちに持って帰って使ってくださいと。何かをこれに入れて例えば黄色い花でも何でもいいんですけれどもこれ入れてとにかく使ってくださいっていうふうに訴えかけているでそれがそのまあ安定性とかそのエレガントな形に
にその訴えかける使っ、私を使ってくださいというようなあのメッセージが漂ってくるような作品であるということなんですね。Wonderful. I'll go ahead and so we have quite a, a number of pieces to look at. This one's quite different. It's a lot more.、Uh, Mr. Pucker and I, and all those in the gallery, kind of call it the trumpet form. It's、oh, a lot more upward and giving. これはパカさんとあのキャラさんなんでトランペットの形をしてるのトランペットっていうふうに言ってるあの花瓶みたいですね。トランペットみたいにこういうふうになってる。Andrew, would you think about this or talk about it a bit for us? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the really important things, if you look at, if you look at Hagiwara san's、um, uh, vases, you notice that he has、um, been careful to keep the decorative effects、uh, subtle and,、um, and mostly glaze based. Uh, so, there's not a lot of intricate patterns or, or, anything, or, or strong colors on his、um, or intricately applied patterns on his vases.、Um, and that is keeping very much in the character of traditional approaches to, uh, to、um, vases because the focus should be on the flowers that are displayed in them. So,、um, Sort of humbly、uh, avoiding competing with the flowers that the vase was made.、Um, and also treating as the vase、um, being something like the ground out of which a flower might,、uh, might grow、um, out of the, the brown or the、um, muted, slightly mottled、uh, colored ground.、Um, and I think that's a, a, a very Traditional approach to,、um, to flower vases in Japan, in contrast with the West, which tends to make flower vases quite, quite decorative in and of themselves.、うん、Hagi Wara san no, a cabin ni tsui te, i p a n t e k ni yu to desu ne, a no, fukutatsu na katachi desu to ka, fukutatsu na iro to ka, ti yu no ga amari mirare na kute, kore hi jo ni. 花瓶の伝統的な花瓶のをあのあの萩原さんも使ってらっしゃるそのやり方を使ってらっしゃるということなんですけどもこれはなぜかというとその花瓶では伝統的に言うと花瓶このフォーカスは花であってその花瓶ではないということ花が主役なのでその花瓶にあまり派手な色とか形をつけると花が生きてこないということなので,でまた茶色あるいは黒濃い茶色というのをお使いになっているってことはその花が生えているその土を表しているそれもまあ伝統的な形なんですけれどもそれを土を表しているでこの点があの西洋の花瓶とは違って西洋の花瓶はもっとその装飾的な感じで色もいろんな形もいろんなのを使っているのでその花と競合する感じなんですけれどもあの萩原さんの場合はその伝統に基づいて花とその競合しない花瓶をお作りになっていらっしゃると思います。The next one、sure. and apply the same conversation about the humility of the vase itself related to the flowers and in that difference they seem to go together beautifully. So if he can speak a bit, a bit about a number of pieces in the show with this matte black glaze. It would be interesting to contrast everything else he's done up until now with it. Yeah, これえ、え、you want to, you want Mr. Hagiwara to talk about this? Okay. Yes, yes, especially. <laughs> オーケーそうあのこれまあこれ花瓶の話なんですけどもそれにとあの加えてあの黒のマット仕上げの釉薬をお使いになってるんですけど、はい、それについてちょっとお話しいただけないでしょうか、うん、これ黒マットであの最近あのなんですかね作り始めた薬なんですけどこれ薬というよりはなんか自分の家に出る庭の土ですかね。それを益子の土にこうなんすか釉薬というよりはまあ釉薬と粘土の合いの子ぐらいの感じの釉薬なんですけど本当にあの
自分でつく越した土に自分の庭の土を使ってどん何か表現できないかなっていうので始まった釉薬ですね。So, this is the、uh, glaze, it's, it's glaze, but the, this black matte glaze is the, something that I recently started to explore. And I was thinking that what I can do with the clay in my garden, in my yard、uh, of Mashiko. And so, this is like between the glaze and the clay, sort of. That, so, I Get some clay or、uh, soil out of my garden, out, out of my yard, and then try to mix it. And then, then I filtered it, and then that's how I, that's what I applied in this piece. So, this is basically it's、uh, from my yard. So he's, so, he's taking the concept of local sort of to its ultimate.、Um, And、uh, you can't get more local than your own backyard, I guess. これそのもう地元のと言っても,もう本当の地元ですよね。お庭から取ってきた土ですから。そうですよね。ローカル、ローカル。ローカル、ローカルって言ったって、もううちの庭の土ですもんね。すごいですよね。マシコなんかでも逆に受けるんですよ。これ自分ちの庭の土っていうと。Oh, I think people were kind of like amused to, to see that I, when he told people that this is actually a clay out of my own yard. So, Mashiko people just get so amused. <laughs> we'll go ahead and that's beautiful. We have quite a couple more, I think, of the matte. Here's, here's an example of the matte glaze alongside one more, more、uh, traditional type. これもあのマットのあの他の作品なんですけどこちらの右の方右ですかねマットになってますね。So I wanted to ask,、uh, ask Hagiwara san, what、um, in Japan, how would these jars be used? Like, what does he imagine these being used for? こ,のこういう形のあの蓋付きのあの入れ物なんですけど、日本だったらどういうふうに使われるのが一番一般的ですかね。<笑>あ、これ一番初め本当作ったのは、なんか娘が日本の茶碗蒸しってありますよね。茶碗蒸し、はいはいはい。あれを好きなんで、ああ。多分あの浜田先生のあのなんですか、ね、あの河合勘次郎先生って言いますよね。河合勘次郎さん,、うん。はいはいはい。昔ものすごい茶碗蒸しが好きだったっていうので。新車のなんか茶碗蒸しの二物があったんですよ。で娘が好きだっていうんで、自分もマシコっぽい茶碗蒸しの器を作ろうっていうのが始まりなんですけど。ああ、そうなんだ。<笑> okay. So,、uh, my, my daughters,、uh, this is based on the, like, a,、um, kan, the pieces of Kanjiro Kawaii, who really loved this Japanese、uh, non-sweet custard、uh, dish that Has, it's not sweet, it's savory, and then with like eggs and then some veggies and then you know,、uh, mushroom and stuff. And then, so, so he saw, he saw this、uh, piece, and then, then because his daughters love this dish, so that's how he wanted to make this、uh, dish actually、uh, in sort of mashiko way. Not the other, but it was like a very mashkotic、um, pieces. That's what he wanted to start.、Uh, he wanted to make it originally. That's really interesting. I think a lot of people probably are familiar with the, with the、uh, Japanese egg custard called chawan mushi, which he was talking about. And, and, and actually,、um, my wife really likes. Chawan Mushi herself, though she's not Japanese, she's Chinese. She really likes that and, and、um, makes it, but it, it's a little, bit, a little bit tricky to make. But we have some uh, Yunomi um, uh, teacups that we've used,、uh, she uses for making Chawan Mushi, but we may have to see if we can get some of these to try it ourselves. <laughs> あの先生の奥様、あの日本人ではなく中国人、中国の方なんですけども、うん、チャームシが大好きで、であのお湯の実を使って、えー、とチャームシを作りになってらっしゃるんですけど、いやこれちょっと
これ分かりましたじゃあこれちょっと手に入れて作ってみようかなっておっしゃっております。<笑>よくあの日本でも聞かれます、これ何に使うのって言われて。Oh, many people ask me <笑> like, how, how this piece should be used, even in Japan. お漬物とか入れてますけど、私。あそうですねあの、まあ。黒豆とか入れるっていう人多いです。いやそうですよね。OK。Yeah, next one. Let, let's move on to this really very elegant, very beautiful、um, t b o But also, it seems to me that this is a different clay body. Is, is that correct, Mugi? Yeah, これ非常にあの elegant なお茶なんですけども、これはどういうふうにお作り、これは違う土ですかね。あ、これは益子の土なんですけど、アサギっていうあの浜田先生が使ってた土を生成した土なんですけどね。はい。Oh, this is also the local ah、uh, 益子 clay, but this is it's called アサギ the Uh, Hamada Shoji used before that、mm. this is what he used, but it, we refined it a little more, and then that's how I use it. The Kore Tabuka, the Matsa Kensan, you must know. Hi, the Totoka Yatirun de into Natsno Korokana, Tonen no Natsa, a Natsan Deskido, Kensan Toka to Anomina Wakate, Naka Chat, Ano, Ochata Kanke Sur Shimoto Shio, you take Ano Ginza no Hode no Gallery. みんなでグループ展やったんですよ。その時にちょっと茶碗をみんなでチャレンジしたやつの仕事なんですけど。Oh. <笑> so last uh, last uh, summer,、um, Mr. Matsuzaki also ended with some other younger、uh, potters. They wanted, like all together as a group, they show some、um, tea ceremony related pieces that's what they they said okay let's do something related to tea ceremony and then this is one of the pieces that i presented it, uh that group um exhibit i'm curious about the glaze on this if is this closely related to other glazes he uses or is it a very different glaze このあの使われている釉薬なんですけども、これはあの同じ柿釉でも、他のと違う釉薬なんですかね。でもこれは同じ柿釉なんですけど、一度翻訳した後に、まだ低温でもう一回酸化して調整すると色を変化するんですよ。二度焼かれる。二度焼いてます。そう。おそうで、実際、セイミあグレー柿。Persimmon grays, but after you fired once, then second time you fired it at a very low、um, temperature, and then then the color has changed. Color changed.、Mm -hmm. I see. So, so it's a firing more related to the firing method than it is to the the glaze composition. Is that correct? Okay. じゃああの Here's our last、uh, piece of, of the slides here. It again has,、uh, this one's one of my favorite. I have a, I love sake bottles. I think they're like, they look like little people.、Um, but it, it's his, his matte glaze. Uh, I like to point out too that quite a lot of his matte glazes,、um, they're not always, if they're inside a like something that's going to hold water for a while, sometimes they can, it can saturate the glaze and potentially go into the clay body. So,、uh, Mr. Hagiwara is actually, you can't see it here, but has used a glossy glaze on the inside to really seal anything that's going to hold flowers for a long time. And I believe this, this sake bottle as well. It's <laughs> all. あのキャロラインさんがとっても気に入っているあのお,さお,お,お,ちょお,お調子が大好きらしいんですけども、えー、と萩原さんの,あの作品では中要するに水例えばあの花瓶なんかでも中で水を入れても大丈夫なように中にはあのグレー釉薬をかけてあのやってらっしゃいますけどこれはこれも多分そうだと思いますとうう。これも中はあれなんですかねかかってますねはい。Yes, yes, you're right. The inside is all of this. 汚れとかもねあるとあれなんで汚れぐらいじゃないですか。So、全部出かけてます、ね
it helps also like you know it uh, prevent like dust that con like you know get dirty so it's easier to if there's a glaze inside it, it's easier to clean i think that's that's beautiful that he's always thinking about the use of the item and that goes back to that whole the humility side of a beauty in in use he's you know it's always it's never trying to be a piece that you have to work around it's it comes alongside you know in your life and i think that's that's really the beauty of ceramics and why ceramics is art even though there's of course the functional side of it and this one i think and compared to his earlier matte glazes, this one's really getting somewhere. You can tell he's dedicated time to really fl flushing out this this project of his to use this matte glaze. And this one is one is I think the most successful piece is how it's kind of undulated between that gold, which has that satin look, and then the matte. Mm -hmm. I, it, I um, agree. Uh, 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 これがあのビューティーオブユースっていうことにつながるんですけれども要するにとても素晴らしいだけの作品ではなくその使うための工夫がされている要するに使わなければ意味がないということでこの中に予約をかけるようなそういうあの手間がかかっているっていうのはこれはその使うというものが大前提である、えー、と作品であるから。とということですねであのこのマットのいろんなあの黒マットの作品があるんですけどここのこれは特にその黄色のこうあれができていて非常にあの美しいあの作品になっているんではないかというふうにおっしゃっております。So if I can just to pull it together a little bit. Pardon me, with the quote from Brother Thomas, skill and art are not the same thing. The only re real measure of art is astonishment. And I would say that as we've looked at these pieces, talked about them, held them, and in our case, used them, there is an ongoing sense of delight and astonishment. It's really a compliment to the artist in this case. That his work continues to live well、uh, in the lives of those who have it. So, thank you so much for making the pieces, for sharing the pieces, and for being present with us. Carolyn,、um, Mugi, for sure, Andrew. Also, thank you both, you all, for being part of this opportunity to once again move into. The world of the artist through his art, and at the same time, be able to articulate as best we can the beauty of use. Can we see the last slide? Ah,、uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The most, the best slide. The <laughs> 最後のスライドですね I guess for the last piece, we can sing "Happy Birthday."、Um, what a lovely opportunity! To be at your party, and thank you for being at our party, sharing your work. We are no, I know, Tanjobi, not in this kid. Okay, that's right. That's like a last month、um, at a birthday party with my daughters. Yes, and for joining us. And hopefully, you'll be able, those of you who live in the Boston area, to come see and hold the pieces. And enjoy the beauty of use. Thank you. Kushinori loved everybody. Thank you.